So why am I doing videos? I it goes completely against my nature. I mean, I'm not I'm not even posting things on social media. I I have a Twitter account for for my business Ginkgo and I hardly use it uh other than to retweet what other people are saying. Um I have a I don't use my personal Facebook account at all. Um and video just seems like the other extreme where I'm just like posting not just a little bit of text but you know me. <laughs> Uh, but I realized that some of the most encouraging things that I've seen come from uh, first-hand accounts of people doing creative work, uh, and not necessarily because of the the advice uh, and the the strategies, the tips, the ideas. Uh, all of that is great, but there's also something about just seeing it, seeing what the creative process is like for people that I admire. And I'm not saying that I feel like I can be a role model for anything other than perhaps uh, work-life balance, because I feel that w we're fortunate at the place that we're at, uh, my wife and I and our, and our son, that we have a lot of freedom. And I, I feel uh, at peace with the balance that we have. And I spend m more time with him and with her than I, than most people can. Uh, and I feel I do have something to contribute with that uh, in terms of sharing ideas and around that. But in general, I find that being able to see what life is like for people with different, uh, in different fields, with different life choices, um, really opens up what is possible for me. And I appreciate when other people authentically share what they're going through um, and especially if they're doing creative work to see their struggles and just how imperfect it all is so I think that's something that video has for it in that we we can see a little bit more how imperfect we all are right I mean um, I used to write blog posts and it would be like 2000 word blog posts and I would spend a lot of time crafting them. And I think I could convey uh, the ideas I wanted to get across well enough, but I don't think it really conveyed much about uh, what life is like for me. And I'm not saying that anybody needs to care about that, but if, if let's say you are considering, uh, you know, doing any of the things that, that, that we're doing, it helps to be able to see what it's like firsthand. And so basically that's what I hope to do in, in sharing what I'm working on in more detail and maybe a little bit more about the, the struggles I'm having, the thoughts, the doubts, um, because it's in part it's useful for me to think out loud and to talk, to have a conversation with, with uh, Ginkgo's users about what I'm considering, but also because... I find it personally very encouraging to know how imperfect the creative process is for even the highest level performers in in any field. Because no matter how high they're they are, there are if if they're at that point, they're going to be challenging themselves and and making mistakes in whatever it is that they're doing. Um, that sounds awful. It sounds like, oh, I like watching people make mistakes. <laughs> but, I mean, it's not untrue. It's not that we don't. It's just that it's it's a counterbalance to uh, so much of the media that we see if we're not careful about. Um, basically, the, 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 the fantasy, the mystique of, of, of people in very advanced positions how they make it seem superhuman like they're not like us and that's that's a very damaging uh, image to put out and that's all I'm trying to do here is just to be honest about what I'm going through and the the and see if that helps other people who are going through similar things so I yeah, that's basically what why I'm doing this. And if if people want to know, if, if any of you want to know more about any aspect of, of, of what I'm working on or, or how we've arranged our our, our lives, um, 
just ask. And there's very little that I wouldn't be willing to share, especially if it, if it might help somebody. So that's it for now, and uh, see you later.